I hope you guys enjoyed the video that I did about the Snow White Antonio guitars EAT. It is an amazing handmade guitar. And now I'm gonna demonstrate one more for you from Antonio guitars. The black famous design by James Hetfield, the man to wolf. <laughs> In my previous video about the Snow White Eat, I discussed Antonio Guitar's immaculate craftsmanship. I suggest you go watch that video if you wanna know more about Augustine and Antonio Guitar's. I'm gonna link it above. About the Man to Wolf. Now usually I don't approve of copies. Regardless if they're cheap Chinese knockoffs or guitars made by a professional guitar maker like this one. Although, in the case of the Man to Wolf, I am willing to make an exception for a couple of reasons. First of all, the ESP is already a copy of the Gibson Explorer. Then there's the limited aspect of the ESP Man to Wolf. As far as I know, there were only four of them made. One is still with James Hetfield. I think Ricky had one, Ricky Steel Edge. Check out Steel Edge Guitars. Cheers, Ricky. And I'm sure you all know the one that was listed on eBay and Reverb for an absurd price belonging to Typhoon from Turkey. Typhoon, come on man, you gotta let me review this one to prove to people that you have an original or else I'm gonna adopt you too, man. So the original by ESP is extremely limited and insanely expensive. You got three choices. Pay the insane amount of money, which nobody will do. Buy a cheap Chinese knockoff or have Antonio Guitars make you one he can also modify a real ESP Explorer with the Man to Wolf inlays. He already did that to one ESP. For now, let's focus on Antonio Guitar's creation. The Man to Wolf has a similar construction to the EAT that I've already demonstrated. So we have a mahogany body, two pieces, two-piece mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard, 22 extra jumbo frets, the banana headstock, Hip shot, locking tuners, 6 in line, Antonio Guitars truss rod cover and a bone nut. A set of EMG pickups, 6081, Grover bridge and a Cluson tailpiece. This looks like the same bridge I am used to seeing on Gibson Les Paul Customs, the PW branded Goto made in Japan. These usually weigh around 50 grams, let's check it out. Yep, 54, pretty solid. And we got this lightweight Cluson tailpiece, which is extremely light aluminum. Yep, 32 grams. Nothing unusual or out of the ordinary for this huge chunk of mahogany. And uh, you just got a black paint on it, no cutaways, no nothing interesting going on. The pickup rings are slanted. The design of the neck is unique for Antonio guitars. Instead of three, he uses two pieces of mahogany with carbon reinforcement rods. The gorgeous ebony fingerboard, of course, with white side dot inlays. The party piece for this guitar, of course, the Man to Wolf inlays. You just can't recreate these with stickers or cheap Chinese copies. 22 extra jumbo massive frets. Beautiful mother of pearl inlays. Close your eyes, Gibson. Banana headstock. The bone nut. Six in line hip shot locking tuners. And check out the Antonio Guitars truss rod cover. It's so classy. This is what the cavity for the two way truss rod looks like. You can see one of the reinforcement rods. And this is what the Antonio Guitars truss rod cover looks like with gold foil on the back side. Real classy. 
a little bit wider than usual at 1.73 inch at the first fret, the 12th fret at 2.11 inches. The neck is slightly thicker at the first fret because it has a volute, so I'm gonna measure slightly after it on the second fret and we got 0.90 inches. On the 12th fret we got 0.90 again. The body thickness of the man to wolf is 1.5 inch. My favorite fingerboard radius of 12 inches. The scale length is 24.75 inches. A C-shaped neck profile. The back of the guitar is not much fun either, but that's just the original design. There's nothing that Augustine can do about that. What I do like though is this neat and tidy electronics compartment. Here's the 3-way switch, the EMG pots and the 9V battery. The output jack down here and the black ground wire. Just a satin plastic cover for the electronics compartment, but a cool little detail by Augustine. Be wild. Black rectangular plate for the output jack, strap button here and one over here. High gloss acrylic finish for the entire guitar and neck. Set neck construction, mahogany neck with a volute. You will not find the serial number on the back of the headstock, remember this is not a mass produced guitar, this is handmade. Augustine makes these as a customer request. The Man to Wolf is a little bit lighter than the Eat that I reviewed at almost 9 pounds. I'm gonna let my friends demonstrate it starting with Nikki from the Metallica tribute band Hammerhead. <laughs> And now a little bit of messing around with the camera microphone. Damn, these guys can play. both loved the man to wolf and preferred it over the eat so did i anyway here's wonderwall <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
first I'm gonna tell you what I think about the Man 2 Wolf as a design by ESP and James Hetfield. It's a bit confusing at first because there's too much going on with the inlays. You see, usually when you have inlays you have them on the 12th, on the 7th, on the 5th, on the 3rd fret and you know where you are when you're playing. The Man 2 Wolf you don't know when you're on the fingerboard when you check those inlays. Yeah, they're beautiful, but they're interrupting my playing and a couple of other guys tried them same thing should you buy the original esp man to wolf yeah good luck with that if you manage to find one at a good price it will increase its value over time again good luck finding one should you buy a chinese knockoff or stickers for your fingerboard absolutely not they're silly should you buy the antonio guitars man to wolf yeah i think it's a great job by augustine it feels amazing plays great it's a solid build and it looks great in person he did a wonderful job with the inlays as always i would suggest you being more original though and create your own design with antonio guitars